Hi, my name is Matt Jacobs, and this is Lab 4 Oscillations for Physics 1. So, the introduction. So, for this lab, uh, the purpose was to observe the motion of mass on a spring. And then, with this, we were able to create a computational model, which was comparing the observed motion to the predicted motion. And then, with that, we can then, with calculating with uh, for certain values within that, we are able to create a plot of kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, and spring potential energy. And then with those three, we can sum them up to find total energy and create a plot of that as well. Uh, the fundamental principles in this lab, we have uh, Newton's second law, which is F equals MA, and the energy principle, which is delta E, or the change in energy, is equal to work, or W, external, because the change in energy should be zero. However, if external work is applied, then there is a change in energy, so that's the energy principle. Um, as you can see, we use tracker to, ch to track the mass on the string, and, uh, yep. Um, so in this, we have uh, calculations. We have T, which is the period, which is equal to 1.567 seconds. We found using this over here. And we also found the spring constant K, which is equal to 6.46 Newton meters, which is found through these other calculations within here. And this is some tracker data showing the graph. Yep. Um, so more calculations over here, as you can see, we used L minus LO. We used uh, this same one from earlier again we can find lo using this to be 0.9 meters which is the length of the uh the whole string so initial conditions so uh given mass and initial position from the tracker and initial velocity we know initial velocity because it's dropped from rest so initial velocity is zero we can put in values that we just calculated and the value for gravity and we can find kinetic uh spring potential and gravitational potential and total energy using all these values that we found before as you can see on this code right here so more with the code uh, we can use this to find to input known equations for respective forces and then we can do position and velocity update formulas and then with that we can also update spring and uh, spring and other energy formulas which are the same as before obviously they're right here and so yeah so what does it mean uh, slash the results? So the first was the mean question was, is the total energy principle uh, used? And clearly it is because as you can see, the total energy is consistently zero, or at least like the change in energy is zero. And so as you can see that the energy principle holds strong. And then for the other, uh, what does it mean question? We have the period estimate estimations. And uh, as you can see our original period, because the X direction one, <clears throat> is used as 1.567 question uh 1.567 uh seconds because that's moving it side to side now the y direction the oscillations are not uniform as they do not all reach the same distance because with other forces like friction and other things the uh the y direction is going to get smaller each time until it eventually turns zero that's just how the physics will work behind that but however finding a y period it would be 1.519 seconds but as we can see, that's not the same as the X uh, one, which is more accurate. And so as you see, as you can say, the it's very close, however, difference between also human error as well on top of the forces. So in conclusion, uh, the model is good for describing the motion given in the video. However, it's bad in the sense that it does not account for dissipative forces such as friction in the spring and drag and on the mass and all this as it travels through the air so the model although it is good is not perfect thank you